witnessed a real shocking turn of events back here in Jacksonville. Due to inclement weather, this tournament has been cut short, and despite winning their last game, the Golden Eagle season will come to a close. We absolutely have a chip on our shoulder from last year. We felt like something was taken from us that you know we felt we felt was ours. Um, were we able to continue that tournament? We had no doubt in our mind that we were going to win. And to have that taken away from you, um, especially for the seniors, that was probably one of the hardest things that I've encountered as a player or as a coach is having your season end in such a way when you were on such a high. Last year in OVC's tournament, we ended on a win. And that stung a lot. We're winning, but you're going home. That's just something that's unheard of. All I remember is that when we first came back this year, we're all staying in the locker room when we had the meeting. And it was just, it, it was kind of tense, like, because we all, I don't know, we all knew what we were thinking, like, especially people that were returning. And Bonnie came in, and that was like the first thing she mentioned was a OVC tournament last year. It just felt like, Revenge. Revenge was the only thing on our mind and it just fueled our fire the whole year. You know, just really determined for this year and ready to get this year going. And it was almost one of those we tried to make sure we didn't look past the first few weeks, you know, so excited to get into conference and get that going again. Um, but we were definitely, we had a goal and a mindset and we knew exactly what our goal was and, you know, we were ready to, to get there. We had a bunch of girls who you know, they, they never said, you know, die until the last out. Unbelievable. The Hannah Eldridge Grand Slam, Melissa Richards RBI double, and Tech scores eight in the seventh to beat Sanford. Story today, Danielle Liberatory, all-time record 16 strikeouts. Victory. Just remembering how it felt last year, you know, not having control of our own destiny and this year making sure that we took it into our own hands and, um, you know, play, played with a little bit of fire up under us for that for last year. We wanted to go into OVC and we wanted to make our mark. We wanted to take it and we wanted SIUE, we wanted Jacksonville. It didn't matter who you put in front of us. Our goal from day one of the season was to win and never look back. Edwardsville, Illinois, it's the 2015 Ohio Valley Conference Tournament. Here on a Wednesday afternoon, Tennessee Tech and Eastern Kentucky just about to square off. Coming out and then, like I said, just taking care of business. Danielle, you know, started off great, um, you know, kept their offense off balance. And Libertory gets her swing to put a ribbon on the sixth. Just came out and we were aggressive. We knew what the pitcher was going to throw us. We just were having fun. That's basically what that was. There's a high drive in a right center field. This might put Tech on top. It does. Home run by Sabrina Neve and the Golden Eagles lead one to nothing. Yeah, our bats were just super hot that game. And like I said, we, we put a mark on, on that tournament that first game for sure. Everybody, I don't think one person was not pumped. Like, I think everybody wanted it at, at the same time, just as much as everybody else. Obviously, that, I, I think that was, you know, that was a very crucial game, being able to, um, you know, beat them. We knew we, we knew we could. Obviously, we did it on their home field earlier this season. Uh, Chambers being the pitcher of the year, we knew it wasn't going to be an easy battle. Um, making sure that our hitters came in and made adjustments. We had talked a lot about what she throws, trying to prepare for that pregame. 
This year we are a team about community. We have community wins. It takes every single person to win. It takes every single person to contribute to win. And I think that's huge on comeback wins. We're not just depending on Danielle. We're not just depending on hitters one through four in the lineup. We all one through nine. If you're on the bench, if you're in the game, we all have the same mentality and we're going to win that game. And our hitters did a great job adjusting. You know, like I said, she's a great pitcher. It wasn't it wasn't because she didn't have her stuff that day, you know, our hitters just did their job and then, you know, Danielle continued to, to roll through that game, continued to execute her pitches and um, it was just a really great team effort. To be SIUE on their field while they're hosting, I mean, we beat them twice during the season on that field, so Playing them on that field was nothing for us. And then, you know, winning and then getting to Murray next, you know, we wanted Murray. We wanted, you know, revenge for them too. Pitch. We kept our foot on the gas and we kept going. We had them down the whole time. They put on this front like, oh yeah, no, we're fine, we're fine. You could tell they, they did not want to play us and that's the reason why we just took the crap out of them. from Edwardsville, Illinois. And if you can believe after what happened last year, there's more rain this season. Game against Murray State's gonna be pushed back. We're in a rain delay. Deja vu all over again for the Tennessee Tech softball team. Really? Like, rain? Like, come on, everywhere we go, it rains. It's not Tech softball without a rain delay or something. It's happened so many times, it's kind of like become our culture. <laughs> I feel like the other team kind of wanted it to make us throw us off and make us not want to play. It made me want to play more. One thing that I think we take away from the rain delays is we stay focused the entire time during that rain delay. Yes, we can be playing basketball in our locker room and being goofy, but we're focused. And the second they tell us, like, lace up, we're about to get back on the field, we're ready. So the more we they make us wait, I think the more it just really um, uh, makes us want to be out there. Um, you know, it's, it's almost like a not, a, not a frustration for lack of a better word, but it's just a, we want to be out there. So the more, it's almost like a caged animal. You know, you keep them in the cage, you keep them in the cage. They just want to bust out. And when they do, it was, it was awesome to watch. One thing that like just lit our flame was they beat us twice at home on our field after a rain delay, which is our trademark. Um, we came back and we fought and they won. And with our team, when that happens, don't play us again because we're going to beat you. After I came in the first inning and I was pretty confident, except I think right after the first out, I kind of realized that they had a game plan and they're a good hang team and they knew what I was going to throw. They started hitting and I was, ang I was so angry. I was so angry. And, <laughs> and they put a four spot on me in the first day. I was thinking, you know, this might be a time where Danielle starts to lose a little bit, to be honest. Um, you know, she had thrown a lot of innings. She had, you know, some shoulder problems and things like that that she wasn't really throwing, I don't think, her best ball. Uh, at the end of the regular season, so I was kind of thinking maybe that's creeping in. You know, how long do we need to leave her in there? Um, I actually got to the point where I was like, I'm, I'm going to give her one more out, give her one more out, and she ended up getting out of that inning. Came in, and I didn't talk to anyone, and I went and sat down, and Alyssa came up to me because she calls pitches, and she was like, what do you want? We kind of got together, and we were just like, we have to throw them off. We have to, you know, throw off speed more. She was like, just get angry. I was like, I'm angry. She was like, we'll use it. And I went out there and I think you would see it, at least in the video, I was just really angry. And I was just zoned in. And all I could think about was just getting every out. Thankfully, my my intuition, I didn't end up pulling the string because after that, she pitched some of the best innings, you know, her, her entire season. Like I'm out, roll, out, double play. One huge thing, especially for that Murray game, we were down and I was the leadoff batter for that inning. And one thing for Tech, 
that I've noticed. If we get our leadoff batter on, the, better team, the other team better watch out. In the bat at bat, um, I really wasn't looking to hit a home run. I was going to get on any way possible to get that rally started because no matter where you are in the lineup, the people behind you, they'll bat you in, they'll get you in. It's awesome knowing that we've come back from that many and that I know, like I know my team is going to be there. I know that they're going to they're going to hit and they're going to come in clutch at some point, whether it's the first inning or the seventh inning. I think in OVC tournament, I just, I really had no doubt. We were determined. Everybody had just hard focus, and we knew we had to put up a fight. They're a great team, and we're a great team. So we just went out there and we got the job done. Yeah, in Tech, like since I've been here, any of the girls, we've never been to a semifinal game either, essentially. So that's some, a game that we wanted. The Golden Eagles are headed to the Ohio Valley Conference Championship game. Oh my God! The heart, the fight, absolutely awesome. We got one more tomorrow. We're gonna take it. One Let's more. Get it. As a player, just playing in the championship game after last year is just like. You know, we deserve this. We've worked all year for this. You know, you took it away from us one year and here we are. The championship game, I was really nervous. I was like, I had tears in my eyes and I was warming up and she was just like, what's wrong with you? I was like, I'm really nervous. It's a championship game. She was like, it's, it's any other game. You're, she was like, are you kidding me? Like, you're fine. Like, she, she just knew what to say to calm me down. I think it was more nerve wracking as a coach because I felt like, you know, as a player, I have a hand in it, and, and as a coach, I'm, I'm a little bit less, you know, I can move some pieces, but I'm not actually there, you know, throwing pitches, swinging the bat. So it was a little bit more nerve-wracking, I guess, as a coach, knowing that, you know, the, these are the, the things that we've talked about. You know, I know they're prepared, and now it's just going out there and watching them do it. When in that game, we were ready. Um, we've seen Haley multiple times. We know they're hitters. And we trusted what we had and we just went out and we played tech softball. Swing and a drive, oh you can forget about it. This one is long gone and she knew it. Swung on belting deep left field. Going back is great. Looks up and gone. Two run home run by Alyssa Richards. Another strikeout for Danielle Liberatore, and that will end the inning. Started getting a little bit iffy, you know, letting some runners on with some walks and hits and things like that. And I knew that Danielle could come through, and I knew once we got through the bulk of their order, she would, you know, she would be fine. Honestly, when that last batter stepped up to the plate, I had a very calm feeling. I was like, this is it. This is where we get our last out. So it all comes down to this. Honestly, I really wanted to end the game on strikeout. And it will be up to Rachel Keller. And, you know, sure enough, Danielle ended it as she always likes to end games with that, you know, strikeout victory. Danielle struck that last girl out, and I don't think I've ever ran so fast in my entire life. And I saw everybody running towards me, and I was like, oh, we won. Like, I didn't even realize. <laughs> I was just, I was that much in the zone, I think. Something happened after Murray State scored those four runs where I just, I mean, you, you could tell the look on her face. There was a different kid pitching on the mound after that. And, you know, I, I, I've just, I've never witnessed anything really like that. We're throwing gloves up, we're chanting like it's great to be a Golden Eagle, and we're making up cheers on the spot out there, and Gatorade's flying on Bonnie, and everyone, our parents are rushing the field. I've never experienced anything like that. And, just, I'm from Redlands, California. I didn't think I'd end up in Tennessee, like at an OVC tournament, and it happened, and we took it. Champions, I mean, there's no other goal you set as an athlete, as a softball player. You know, growing up as a little kid, you dream of winning a conference championship in college. That's, that's you, we've all worked our whole lives to get, to get here, and then to actually do it is, you know, to see my family, you know, all the work they've done for me to get here, just, it all fell in line and it was great. It's awesome that I feel like we've gained, the team as a whole has gained so much respect from everyone in, in the town, in the school, like everybody. And um, the fact that we went and we beat every team, we didn't lose once, we beat every team. From day one, we had a goal, and everybody bought in, and I think that was a huge, huge thing to our success, is buying in and believing in the program, and 
Um, a lot of the times when we're huddling, um, something we chant is like tech pride and we really had it. Um, we bleed purple and gold and we want to win and we want to win for our school, for our community, for our family, friends and all our hard work that we've put in and I think that was huge for us. An unbelievable run that ends in a title. The Golden Eagles are going back to Cookville champions of the Ohio Valley Conference. We were on another level this entire week. Um, we, we set our minds on a goal and we came here and not only exceeded, I think, other people's expectations, but even mine. And I know what this team was capable of. And once again, we took it to a whole nother level. I am so extremely proud of each and every one of you. This was a complete team effort. 16 comeback wins. Just to not know you're out of a game, like, until the last pitch, until the last out, to never doubt yourself. I think in every individual player never doubted themselves. I think the biggest reason for us having all of those comebacks was because last year we didn't even get a chance to finish our season. So knowing that we had that, um, that mentality of it's never over until it's over, uh, we're going to do everything we can to claw and scratch and fight our way through. Um, and it was just really, really fun to watch. It was, it was stressful a lot of times. I think I aged about 20 years uh, this season, but it was also a lot of fun to watch. Our team has so much fight. And just, I, I mean, I, in my opinion, I know it might be a biased opinion because I'm on the team, but if you were like in that tournament, the NCAA tournament, or even especially the OVC tournament, I don't think there was any team there that acted like us or has as much passion as us or as much fight as us. I really don't think so. Like, we don't lay down and die. We fight back and we don't give up. We weren't the team that, you know, I, I think people thought about us, but not in a sense where we were a real threat, either in our conference or, you know, anywhere else really in the nation. Um, and did we have the most talented players? Did we have, you know, the biggest bats? Did we have the quickest kids? No, but we had the kids with the biggest hearts and, you know, you've seen sports movie after sports movie. It's not about the most talent, it's who wants it more. And we proved that time and time again that we were the team that absolutely wanted it more and that's why we got it. This is the best team chemistry we've had since I've been here. I know I'm not only a sophomore, but I mean, it's easy to see that compared, last year compared to this year. And last year we were, we were good. This year we're great. And we, everybody just has each other's back. Like to send our seniors out that way is just, it's just great. There's no words for it. I play right, so Hannah's in front of me and I have Angie over in center and I was just looking at him like, dang, um, it's really not going to be the same without them. They are a great senior class. They have led us to be successful. Um, there are great girls on and off the field. If you need anything, our senior class, they will definitely be there for you. It's just like wow, this might be my last game with Angie, this might be my last game with Erica, and so, you know what I mean, so-and-so. And I was just like, wow, I will never play with them again. And that kind of hit me, and then we got in the circle, and I, I was trying, I like to, I, I don't like to cry much, so I was trying to keep it together. And when, when your coaches start getting a little emotional too, that, that always gets me. When our coaches are talking to us and our voice is shaky, and, and you can see the tears in their eyes, I start, I, I lose it. Um, during that last huddle, um, it's hard to think that was our last huddle with that team because we accomplished so much together. Just the fact that I was, I was happy that we got that far and that we got to bring the seniors that far and we got to get them, you know, the, the title and, and the ring and all that and got to give them that kind of experience their last year is awesome. But the fact that I was like, I will never play with you ever again, that sucks. That was awful. That was pretty emotional. The only thing they had to be sad about is that they didn't get to lace up their cleats another time. Um, that was the only reason that there should have been tears at the end of that because everything else that they had done for this program was, was something they should be very proud of. I know that all their hard work that they've put in, especially for the four years, and they haven't touched that OVC championship, that they've got it and it's not going anywhere and it's theirs. It's, it's a great feeling that we did that for them told them, you know, the tears should be just tears of sadness that you don't get to go out and do it next year and um, that they should be proud of the mark that they left on this program.